Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Avion Gates of Night Edition. In this episode we're going to fight the boss of this area. Now as you can see I have the Excalibur Sun Diamond and the Osmium Dagger and all the equipment we have except for Stella and Lydia. And there's a reason for that. Um, I personally don't really think it's necessary to get them that armor right now because I would honestly say that it's better for you to have Tijal and Galahad in your party. Um, but I would suggest killing these enemies until you get a diamond. Because once you get a diamond, you can equip that into the hilt of that Excalibur sword, and then, you know, upgrade it and all that into the Sun Diamond, which I highly suggest you doing before you even complete this part so that you don't- you're prepared for the next part. Because enemies are are weak to the sun. So, yeah. Seer's Cavern. Hercules, what are you doing here? We still have forgive you for taking all the credit for freeing the slaves in the Orc Empire. I thought I recognized you. Excuse me, good folks. Are you going to the Seer's Cavern? Yes, we are. Stella, are you sure? Yes, I think our answers lie within. Would you good? Would you do me a favor? Maybe. What do you want? The good villagers of Nayla paid me to get rid of the mob beasts in this cave. The vile creature's been eating their citizens. But alas, the worst of the worst has happened. And would that be, Knight? Spread my ankle. I can barely walk. What can do to help you, good man? Did you fight the monster in the cave for me? I promise to make it worth your while. Yeah, all right. We'll think about it. Considering that we have a Nalithian in our party, we probably don't want to, you know. Centaur's bow. A bow that rarely misses its mark. I feel bad for Ulf, but I really don't use him a lot. If ever. Because... Galahad's great because he has a high strength, but he also has a high crit rate and defense. So because of that, I don't really see a reason to have three members in one party that all do the same thing, roughly. I mean, I already have three members who pretty much do the same thing already. And Lydia and... Stella learned a lot of magic, and these are magic flies, by the way. No enemies. But yeah, like, I like the team setup that I have with Galahad, T. Jal, and Edward Mel, and occasionally switching out for Lydia. But, with Stella, I really think that, like, there is one problem with Stella. And it's a point where she's so good, that if you were to use her in battle, it would be atrocious. To read through all these spells, and look at all these spells, before you make an actual accurate decision to use one. I've had many instances where I've played this game... And my um I would use the wrong spell at the wrong time. Like I'd use a spell that would shield one ally versus the whole group. Or heal one ally instead of the whole group and it would always be auto click. If you have the armor from Nalith, you don't really have to worry too much about the enemies here, but it's still good to get a little bit of ex extra XP, because I want to make sure that before we do the next chapter, Lydia has maxed out all of the spells that she can get. Because I would like to, to show them all off in a reasonable time. But I'm not sure about the storm book that we got from the elves, because that doesn't seem to be do, do enough to even weren't testing it. It just seems like you're using Lars's spells over again, so I haven't been really tempted to want to try using them. Four thousand gold pennies? Okay. 
Okay, so you leave. We have to kill this mushroom in order to pass. Sorry, mushroom. With all of our magic defense items we have on, everything in here is just not really doing very much damage to us at all. Oh, are these magic flies? They're definitely a pain. Also, in case you accidentally sell any of the the uh, gems that you had gotten from uh, playing, that would give. Edward magic power from a sword. I would suggest not worrying about it unless it is a topaz. I have not seen a single one of them drop a topaz, but I have seen them drop sapphires and all that. So in case you needed to know that you can get you can get emeralds, you can get sapphires, you can get diamonds, you can get, um, you know, all that good stuff. You can also get pearls. Also, going back to, like, characters and whatever, Hercules is one of my favorite characters in this game because he's a recurring character as of now. And, like, when we ever go to a new area in this game now, we will always find Hercules. And it's really awesome because it's nice to have that one slapstick sort of character. It's not really slapstick, but it's like... A different take on a hero in books. Anyway, it's nice to see that sort of comedic or comedic written character be done well. A blessed shield. Shield has been blessed. Physical defense 90. Magical defense. You know. We're fighting mostly magical enemies. I don't really see a point in using that right now for magical for physical defense because we're we're just getting magic attacks at us left and right. Not really worth it. It'll be worth it after we're done with this portion, but not now. Cuz right now every enemy has a magical tribute attack attached to the attacks, so they're doing mm, pretty much nothing. I like to use Stella's magic as little as Puka and Revive Party Extora. Forgot to mention, but she did in fact learn Revive Party, which is pretty great. But like I said, she just keeps learning and learning and learning. Can you imagine fighting a battle and having to scroll through all of these spells to get what you need? It's it's honestly what I would feel like would be great is if they were erased their previous spell to give you the better spell. Because her magic is increasing as the game progresses, so why not just erase the original spell and upgrade that with the better spell so that when people go to use their spells, they're not frustrated trying to use their spells.
Also, Lydia learned a lot of spells, and I think she's actually got... Yeah, she's got only one more to learn. Make the party count clumsy, paralyze an enemy. Lydia has a lot of really good spells now. But... See a giant behind him, several power wings litter the ca cavern. Excuse me, giant, we've heard that you've eaten several citizens of Nalith. Is this true? I eat weakling butterfly people. What of it? Now I eat you. As you might have expected. Now we get it to beat up the giant that we let live in Ren's quest, by the way. Pretty sure this is the same one. Considering that was also in the semi-holy place. Eh, I'm not gonna trip him anymore. Almost there. beast. Looks like I didn't need your help after all. Thanks for leading me to the beast. All the nerve. What is that, who does that guy think he is? A hero. There's nothing in here. Wait, I think I remember. You know this quite gay well, Moth. The no warp is through there. Let's go. As I teleport back into place. Winged shoes. Let's you walk quickly. Definitely gonna put those on because this is the speed crystal. Which means if there's anything that we need to do for quests or whatever, it's good to do them now. Um, butterfly wings for Diani. was Dione. It's the orb. Go ahead, Mel, take it. Mel puts her hands on the orb. Let the moth hold it. If it glows, we'll know you're both descendants of Darkthrop. Mel gives the orb to Stella. Stella, what have you done? You smashed the orb! I don't know, I felt compelled. I sense magic, but it is not her own. Gendal, who are you, Stella? She's the guardian of the orb and appears her brother is put under a spell. Seems he's fooled us all. Explain. I thought my brother had killed the guardian, but he lied. He's been using her to further his plot. You're a spy? She's not a spy, she's bewitched. The mage is right. Gandalf beside her. She does not have control over her own actions. Great, so now what do we do? You could kill me. I don't want to live without my wings. We're not gonna kill you, Stella. We're gonna help you. Tija, what can we do? Must go to Avion. The Oracle will know. Let's leave this place at once and head to Easter Forest. Contain a diamond. That's how you would get the diamond normally if you were not killing a bunch of these enemies.
Don't go anywhere without that staff, because that is Stella's next staff. But with that, the world of light is shattered. And some of our hopes along with it. In the next episode, we'll try to fix it. And hopefully we didn't run out of time. See you guys then.